Let's uh, meet at Dino's, but could you go order it? Sounds good. Jake would like some street tacos or something. Man, guys, it ain't always good to, to <laughs> drink so much Red Bull and whatever. I mean, it's not really that you need the energy, but man, those little suckers are good. We're reshooting the strong back, the strong arm, whatever you want to call it. We're reshooting it right now. Um. We noticed in the video, I actually didn't even notice this, Jed noticed it, but most of the filming was like from here to like here. <laughs> and the so, strong back was like by his feet. Yeah, the strong back was by my feet and you couldn't see my head, nothing. So it was just kind of a wreck. And then when I then when I uploaded the video, I uploaded it twice. The audio, I'm still jacking with the audio. So give me a little break on that because I have no clue what I'm doing with the audio. But Thank you guys for the comments that, that told me about the audio because I would have had no idea about it unless you guys had told me about it. So, we're reshooting the strong back. Now guys, what this is, this is important. You are not required to have one of these. These are kind of like, uh, uh, they're nice to have because basically what it's gonna do is it, it's, it's extra insurance for the welder. So, when you go to weld an OLED on, all this is doing is you are putting the piece of pipe right through here, you're tightening this bolt right through here, and it's just creating a bunch of pressure. And you're gonna to wanna to crank on that thing pretty hard because what's gonna happen is when you weld that OLED, that piece of pipe's gonna to wanna to pick up and it's gonna to want to, uh, basically, it's gonna banana it if you're not careful. So this is insurance for the welder. Let me show you how to build one. They're super easy and, uh, they're not hard to build. So, what you're gonna wanna do is all it is is a piece of half inch plate cut in like a U shape, like a weird looking U shape. Piece of two inch Sked 160. I bet you could do it with Schedule uh, 82. And then just a bolt. It's just a bolt with a nut welded here. The nut's welded to the end of the bolt. And then this is to cushion the pipe so that it, uh, so that it doesn't hurt the pipe, doesn't cut to the pipe. You've got to be careful about that because you cannot cut in the pipe. If you go to start and leave big grooves and marks in that pipe, it's a cutout. You'll... So I would say minimum this would probably be what you'd want it to be. <clears throat> now I cut that piece of pipe 28 and a half inches. So a 28 and a half inch piece of pipe, I centered my, my bolt so that it comes straight up in the center. So what's gonna happen is when that piece of three inches sitting in here, and you'll see later on in the video, I explain it, and we actually have it set on a piece of pipe and, uh, and show you what's going on. But you'll notice that when we tighten this thing, the OLED or the thread OLED is sitting right here above it. Because these two, these two braces right here are gonna be pulling it down and holding it. So, we got a 28 and a half inch piece of two inch, we got us a bolt, and then right here, okay, this is half inch plate. Okay, half inch plate from the, the dimensions on this thing is nine and a half inches by six and three quarter inches. Okay, uh, give or take, you can do whatever you want. Basically, the main important part of this is you are going to want, whoops, there goes my gum, uh, three and a quarter, well, you're gonna want minimum two and a half inches right here on the bottom. The reason being is that this piece of pipe is gonna weld over the base of that. So you want plenty of plenty of area to run a full weld around it. A half inch hole, two two inches on the top, uh, about an inch and three quarters on the side. You can build it however you want. The thing is, is you need to build this thing stout enough that it can take all sorts of pressure uh, it's gonna hold your piece straight and so that when you finally get done and that thing's cooled down that it's going to uh, Keep it from wanting the banana up to ruin it and all that other stuff. So guys, like I said, this is just a uh, Six six and a half six three quarter uh, by nine and a half piece of plate Cut you to you Another thing is if any of you guys don't know this a round cut is stronger than a square cut. I'm 
not an engineer, but <laughs> I've seen a lot of squared cuts rip out and a round cut will take a lot more pressure than a squared one will. So anybody that knows that, leave it in the comments why that is. Cause I don't know, I just know that that is what I've been told. That is how I do it. I learned from the old timers, you guys. They freaking, they do the way, they know why, but they can't give you the, the exact science on why it is. They just know that this is how it works and this is how we're gonna do it, so do it. <coughs> Man, if you guys ever get a chance to work with an old timer, you guys need to. You're gonna get your butt chewed out a lot and they're really grumpy and kind of hard to be around. But dang it, you will learn a freaking lot. Recap on what we got. We got half inch plate, it's cut in a U shape. Uh, two inch, skid 160, I think skid 80 will work, I don't know. Um, a bolt in the center, that's really all you need for this. Now, you will notice that if you look down this, both of these pieces of plate are facing different directions. The reason being, <coughs> is when you go to tighten this bolt, you're tightening lefty, lefty loosey, righty tighty, right? You want these pieces facing the way that when you're cranking on this thing, it's fighting against that piece of pipe. It's gonna make your life a lot easier and uh, this thing ain't gonna to wanna to come off the pipe while you're over here just giving it everything you got to keep that, to kind of put that flex in there. So, opposite directions, that's really all you guys need to know. I mean, uh, later on in the video, we'll actually do a weld, we'll show you how to do it, and that is a strong back. Are they required? No. Are they handy? Hell yes, they are. They're insurance. That's all they are. So, everybody, be blessed. We'll talk to you here in a little bit. Like, subscribe, comment. Leave comments in the bottom if uh, if you guys want to know something, if you're interested in something, if you have questions about it, let me know. I can answer it. I do my best to answer everything, but uh, I, uh, I get right around about 350 emails a day. I spend two hours a day just rolling through them, just trying to write people back. So, if I don't get your, get to your question, send it again. If I don't get to it again, send it again. That's how I get to your stuff. It's got to keep popping up so that eventually, in that two hours, I will hit it and I will, uh, I will answer you guys. So, everybody be blessed. We'll talk to you later. Get 40 piece of three inch. So to keep from messing this piece up, you got you, you need to have basically all this is doing is it is applying pressure and basically putting a reflex in this piece of pipe. Now, one thing is you gotta be careful about is cutting into the bottom of this piece of pipe. Uh, so we actually wound up putting a nut on the end to give it more of a little bit of a cushion on it. So all you're gonna do is just crank the holy hell out of this thing since we built this the way we did. Because what's happening is when I pull on this, these two pieces are fighting against each other really hard. And so I can crank on this thing and it ain't gonna go anywhere because it's locked in. So we're gonna put a reflex in this. This is gonna make sure that this thing stays square. Is when I get done welding this, because what's going to happen is that weld's going to want to pull this thing up. It's going to want to make it pull it towards the whole, the whole, the thread OLED. Sorry, you guys. It's going to pull <laughs> it then... towards the thread OLED. So this, all it's doing is putting that reflex in it. We're going to weld it, let it cool till we can touch it. Then we'll weld it again until it's done. It's crazy because all he's got left to do to this OLED is put a hot pass in it. And then it's going to take some low high and it's going to run two different passes. But that is strong enough to bend this piece of pipe. How crazy is that? Yeah. And with four of them on here, I mean, it will totally ruin this piece of pipe. And all the money they paid you for the day to weld this thing together, out the door, 
Mid piece slides out the door. All leads are gone. I mean, you cost them a lot of money if you mess it up. So don't mess it up. Uh, cap it, I guess, low high, and let it cool till you can touch it. Take the strong back off. Move it to the next one. Do it again. This piece of pipe could take all day to weld just to get these four OLEDs done, but that's why we have the rest of these. I mean, we have three prints right here. So while this is cooling, we have something else to work on. So let's get this hot pack. Now a question for, from the viewers. Thank you, Tony, for asking. Um, how many OLEDs in a piece of pipe before you decide to put a strong arm on it? I guess it depends on how close they are to each other. Like if it was only this OLED, the two end OLEDs, I wouldn't worry about it. I'd just weld them and be done with them. But where it's in the middle and we got four hot spots, potential hot spots, where that weld is gonna grab and start pulling, um, I definitely would use a strong pack. Basically, if you got more than two OLEDs on a piece of pipe that are that are pretty close to each other, slap a strong back on there. You'd rather be safe than sorry, because I mean that's a lot of money. Okay. Okay. Two so they didn't just they plus. didn't just freaking lose out on this a piece of three inch and some uh, OLEDs. I mean they paid you for the day. They paid your helper for the day. They had to pay for all the pipe, like. Don't mess it up. Use your strong back, especially when you start getting in the centers of stuff. Like you get a piece of two inch and you got a big OLED that's getting put on it. And you're in the middle of that thing, put a strong back on it. That's only one OLED, but you're in the middle and it's gonna grab that thing and and ruin that piece of pie, basically. Strong backs are easy to build, you guys. We show you, we're gonna show you how to do it.